all nine Serie Caribe MVPs from the 1980s and their baseball carts. Each winter, before Major League Baseball spring training gets underway and after national tournaments have concluded, the Serie Caribe helps determine the best baseball team among all Latin American countries. Not surprisingly, the Caribbean series draws interest from major leaguers, and they're often among the standouts as the nation's battle for diamond supremacy. And the card collectors of the 1980s and other eras, there are plenty of familiar faces among the very best players from each year's tournament, and it's fun to look back at the overlap. Here then are the nine men who won the MVP award in the Serie Caribe during the 1980s, along with their baseball cards from the years they won or as close as possible, since there are some cardboard gaps. Play ball. 1979 tops Rudy Law, number 719, 1980 MVP. Law didn't quite make the cut for the Dodgers in 1979 when his tops rookie card debuted, which meant he didn't have any cards in 1980. What Law did do, though, was team with fellow major leaguers Leon Durham, Jerry Dubzinski, Damaso Garcia, Dennis Llewellyn, and Teodoro Martinez to lead the Dominican Republic's Tigres de Lice to a 4-2 and record and the Serie Caribe title the next winter, 1980. For his efforts, Law was named the MVP of the entire series, and he also went on to record a solid rookie season with L.A. 1982 tops traded Bo Diaz, number 29T, 1982 MVP. By 1982, Diaz was an all-star catcher in the big leagues and on his way to the Philadelphia Phillies thanks to a three-team trade in November of 1981 between the Phils, Cleveland Indians, and the St. Louis Cardinals. Before heading to Philly, Diaz led the Venezuelans Leones de Caracas to a series victory on the strength of his 412 batting average, two home runs, and five RBI, and his handling of a pitching staff that included Luis Leal, Bud Black, and a couple of other major leaguers. And though the team also featured the likes of Steve Sachs, Andres Galavaga, Ron Gardenhire, and others, it was Diaz who took home the MVP honors. 1983 TCMA Salt Lake City Gulls, Glenn Walker, number 20, 1983 MVP. Walker was a beast in the batter's box, crushing long home runs throughout his long minor league career. Alas, like many other minor leaguers, Walker could never quite break through, and in fact never made it to the majors at all. Walker did make it to the roster of the Puerto Rican team in the Serie Caribe, where he joined other major leaguers like Dickie Thon, Candy Manolato, Henry Cruz, Ken Phelps, Carmelo Martinez, and others. And while Walker's story took a dark turn in the 1990s, he stood tall as the Caribbean Series MVP in 1983. 1984 Donruss, Terry Francona, number 463. 1984 MVP. Before Tito became a Hall of Fame caliber manager with the Red Sox and the Indians, he was a solid bat as a platoon player and pinch hitter for the Montreal Expos and a handful of other teams in the 1980s. And he was also the 1984 Caribbean Series MVP as a member of the Venezuela's Aguilas de Zulia, who took the whole ball of wax with a 5-1 record. Joining Francona on that championship team were fellow major leaguers Luis Salazar, Kelly Downs, Porfi Altamarano, Manny Sarmiento, Bobby Ramos, Johnny Paredes, Razor Shines, Manny Trio, Jeff Stone, Cesar Tovar, and others. 1985 Fleer, Jose Rijo, number 143, 1985 MVP. Jose Rijo was just 19 years old when he took the mound for the Dominican Republic team in the 1985 Serie Caribe, but his youth didn't hold him back a bit. Three saves over six scoreless innings helped his club capture the flag and landed the MVP award for Rijo. That was a loaded team that included familiar names like George Bell, Tony Fernandez, David Green, Burt Hooten, and other major leaguers. But it was the youngster who shone above all others. Of course, a few years later, Rijo would develop into one of the best starters in the majors, and he would eventually help the Cincinnati Reds win the 1990 World Series. 1986 tops Randy Reddy, number 209, 1986 MVP. Before this 1986 tops card of Randy Reddy was christened a wax packer by Brad Volukjian, Reddy himself was a versatile player who could man a few positions and handle the bat well enough to stay on the Milwaukee Brewers roster. The Brew Crew would send him to the San Diego Padres that summer, a move that would bring more playing time Reddy's way.
Before that, though, Reddy broke out for the Mayagues of Puerto Rico in the Caribbean series, taking the batting crown with a 467 mark and leading all batters with 7 RBI. That was enough to win the series MVP honor, despite his team's last place finish. Other players from that club who crafted notable Major League careers included Bobby Bonilla, John Cangalosi, Wally Joyner, and Henry Cotto. 1987 tops Carmelo Martinez, number 348, 1987 MVP. Martinez was one of the few power sources for the San Diego Padres in the 1980s, clubbing a career-high 21 dingers with the Friars in 1985. Just the year before, he had helped San Diego win their first-ever division title with 13 homers and a sixth-place finish in the 1984 National League Rookie of the Year voting. The still young outfielder had even bigger things in mind to start 1987, though he did lead all hitters in the Serie Caribe with a 556 batting average and 9 RBI to lead the Puerto Rican Criollos de Caguas to a title and to win the series MVP award. 1985 tops Rufino Linares, number 167, 1988 MVP. Lunares finished up his major league career with the California Angels in 1985, though he kept plugging away in the minors through 1987. That one year stint with the Angels came after a three season run with the Atlanta Braves, which yielded a few baseball cards, including the 1985 tops finale you see here. But right after Linares' final minor league go, he stopped in at the Caribbean Series in the winter of 1988 to pace the game with five RBI and lead the DR's Leonos de Escogido to a title. And that was good enough to garner MVP honors for Linares. 1989 Donruss the Rookies, Phil Stevenson, number 36, 1989 MVP. Entering the 1989 season, Phil Stevenson was a 28-year-old first baseman with seven minor league seasons under his belt, but nary an MLB appearance. After three straight seasons at AAA, though, he finally broke through with the Cubs. They flipped him to the Padres in September of that summer, which worked out for Stevenson as he lasted parts of four years in San Diego. Before he finally got his break, though, Stevenson showed his stuff in the Serie Caribe, that February, he hit three home runs, scored six runs, and drove in seven, all series-leading totals. That was enough to help the Aguilas del Zulia to the title and to win the MVP award. And, just maybe, to catch the Cubs' attention once and for all. Like our video? Then like our video and subscribe to our channel. WaxPackGods.com